How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today. As always, today is an exciting day because Kung Fu Panda is in Brawlhalla. I never thought I would be saying those words, but yet here we are. <laughs> I actually love Kung Fu Panda, so this is actually really cool to me. Uh, unfortunately, we only get three crossovers. I would have liked to have had more, but we also get a KO effect. We get a map. We get a game mode. We get a lot of stuff. We're going to take a look at everything today, so <laughs> let's get into it. Before we do anything else, though, let's jump into the store. Oh, man, it looks like I have to uh, get some more mammoth coins before I can purchase these. Okay, now we can purchase some, so let's take a look at them. We got Poe, of course! Poe, there is no secret ingredient. It's just you. So Poe mirrors the abilities of Wuxiang. Not a surprise. They even said in the dev stream that when they were making Wuxiang, they actually used Poe as inspiration for some of Wuxiang's moves. So that's pretty crazy because Wuxiang came out like two or three years ago. And yet now here we are giving Wuxiang an actual epic crossover for Po, the, the person that he Wuxiang was inspired by. So, really, really cool. Definitely going to check that out. And then we have Tai Lung, the main bad guy of the movie. Tai Lung takes the abilities of Mordex, which is kind of fitting because Mordex is kind of like the villain in Brawlhalla because everybody plays him. Oh, man. And then, uh, yeah, so he has custom signature effects. We're going to take a look at all of those and stuff once we get into the game. Go ahead and buy him right there. I love the lock-in animation, how it shows Tai Lung being trapped in his prison and busting out. So cool. And then we have Tigris. I am not surprised, and probably nobody is. Tigris takes the abilities of Azuri. A perfect match made in heaven, right? And also custom signatures, custom lock-in animation, all that good stuff. We are definitely, definitely going to get that one. Last but not least, we have the Master Shifu knockout effect. <laughs> There's now a level zero. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just remembering the scenes in the movies. All right. I, I feel like I'm going to have to watch Kung Fu Panda again now. Uh, so I think that's about it in the store. So now let's just really quick, guys. We're going to hop into training. I'm only going to spend maybe one or two minutes in here because I just want to show you guys the signatures in slow motion so that you can appreciate them because a lot of them is kind of hard to see. Also, we're going to take a look at all the colors <laughs> for these crossovers. Take a look. We have Orange Poe, Cyan Poe, Sunset Poe. <laughs> Gray actually doesn't look that bad. Most of these look kind of weird on Poe, but Black actually looks really good. I like that one. Winter Holiday, Love Struck. Very, very cool. Very cool. Wow, Gala. Some of these don't... Oh, wow. Soul Fire. Some of these make Poe look like a completely different person. And Gold Forged, of course. So let's just go in as Classic Poe real quick. And uh, let's go ahead and go to the new map the spirit realm because I don't know if I'm actually going to get this map once we start playing some games. So I want to show it to you guys anyways. So here's the new map, the spirit realm. As you can see, it's really cool. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background and uh, yeah, the stage, you can't go around underneath. But anyway, so let's check out post signatures. First, I'll go in full speed and then slow motion. So let's start it out with a side sig. All right, that was pretty cool. And let's look at that in slow motion. So as you can see in the slow motion, Crane, one of the Furious Five, actually picks up Poe, helps him up, and Poe's, you know, bopping Diana with that belly. And it's pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at the uh, down sig about. All right, Poe just kind of puts on his hat and uh, lets, it, lets it go, boom. All right, neutral sig. This one's actually really cool. This one's really cool. We'll go bop, woo. All right. All right, maybe we're not gonna hit Diana with the neutral sig because she has too low of damage, but yeah. So <laughs> in slow motion, you can see the neutral sig actually has Mantis <laughs> pick Poe up and carry him. <laughs> I don't know how Mantis is so strong, but there you go. All right, let's take a look at the uh, spear sigs. 
I actually really do like the spear skin because it just looks like a, a bamboo pole and I love bamboo. I actually have bamboo growing in my backyard of my house that I planted myself. So I love bamboo. Let's take a look at the side sig. Pretty much the same thing from Roshong except that it has some uh, flower petals. That's about it. All right, down sig. This one's a little bit better. You, ha you have Crane again picking up Poe and then Poe slamming down with the flower petals as always. All right, now let's take a look at the side sig. Pretty much the same thing as Wuxiang's normal, except you got the uh, sound effect and then a little bit of the flower petals as well. All right, that is Poe. Let's go ahead and check out Tai Lung. But first, let's look at the different colors of Tai Lung. When they first showed these legends, I didn't even think about what they would look like in different colors. Here's black. Let's, let's go ahead and lock in so you can actually see the colors because it, it's almost like it's shadowed when he's down there, like leaning over in his prison. Gala looks really good. But then again, Gala pretty much looks good on every skin, don't you think? There you go. Charged OG actually looks really cool. Oh, man. Cannot wait to play Tai Lung. All right, there you go. Goldforge looks really cool too. All right, let's go to classic colors. Let's take a look at Tai Lung signatures. Let's give Tai Lung the scythe. So this scythe is pretty cool. It's like an ax scythe. It's got like the ax blade on the back. It'd be really cool if you could <laughs> use it as like an ax and a scythe, but that'd be OP, right? So Tai Lung neutral signature. It's basically the same, except that it has massive blue flame. Obviously, Tai Lung also sounds really fierce. It just looks more fierce in general. All right, and then we have the side sig. This one I love. So Tai Lung actually takes out like a blue lantern or a lantern with blue flame and just sends that flame fl like just spewing it all in front of him. Very, very cool. I love how that looks. And then the down sig. Tai Lung actually steps back as normal, but you can see like the sparks going on his claws, almost like he got pushed back. And then you can, of course, you can set it forward or back. Not a big deal. All right, let's check out the gauntlet signatures real quick on Tai Lug. And these gauntlets are actually modeled after his like fist cuffs, his, his uh, handcuffs that he was wearing in the prison. So it's kind of cool. And then uh, let's look at the side sig. Nothing too fancy there. Just got the blue flames and the, uh, the better sound effect. Let's look at the down sig. That one's actually a little bit different from normal. He's got a different stance, and he also has that blue flame. All right, the neutral sig is the one that looks the most different, I think, on the gauntlets. So he actually jumps up on like a rock, and then he has that blue flame. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I don't know why the rock is like blue or purple. Last time I checked, rocks are like, you know, gray, but whatever. All right, that's Ty Lug. Last but not least, Let's check out Tigress in all of her colors. Tigress actually looks really, really good in the different colors. Probably even better in most of these colors. Wow, look at orange Tigress, and then let's look at default. Like, is that even... <laughs> default? Orange. <laughs> it's just a little more orange. I actually like it. It, uh, it actually makes the color pop a little more. But as I said, like, Tigress looks really clean, even red, and vibrant. Like in every single color. She really does. Even more so than Poe and Tai Lung, I feel. That's why I'm going a little bit slower on her. Look at that. Different lock-in animation, of course. That is actually an amazing lock-in animation. Wow, Synthwave looks amazing. Frozen Forest, Skyforge, and of course, Goldforge. Community colors. Esports colors looks amazing. But let's go ahead and check out the default. Let's take a look at her signatures really quick. All right, here's Tigress Katar. So neutral sig, basically the same as Azuri, except got that red flame, kind of red graphics or whatever. And the sound effect is different. And I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like Tigress jumps higher. She, I know she doesn't, but it just feels like she does. And then let's go ahead and look at the down sig. Very fierce. Let's go ahead and take a look at the side sig. This is this is the coolest one. So she actually has the monkey in the back with the bamboo rod, springs Tigress into the side sig. 
All right, that's it for the guitars. Let's take a look at the sword. This is a really cool sword. All right, let's go ahead and do the down sig. Down sig incorporates the snake, as you can see there. All right, here's the side sig. Basically nothing new other than the sound effect and the red graphics. All right, and neutral sig. As you can see, not too much new other than the graphics and the sound effect as well. But either way, Tigris is amazing. All right, guys, it is time to play some Kung Fu Panda in Brawlhalla. And you know, I am going to make the full Kung Fu Panda team in Strikeout. Let's go Poe. Let's go Tigris. And then we're going to finish it out with Tai Lung. And since we've already seen the default colors, this time we're going to do all black. First game with the Kung Fu crossovers, baby. All black. If you guys are enjoying the video, please go ahead and drop a like. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. Definitely subscribe for more Brawlhalla content as well. Oh, I'm so excited to play with Poe. I've been waiting for like two weeks for this since they announced it. Maybe even longer. The thing with new crossover characters is people like don't even know who you're playing as. Like they, because they're so new, they don't even know what legend you are. So it's kind of like an advantage. They're like, wait, he's playing as a panda? Who is that? All right, go to get shiny Espeon. Oh, wow, kick me in the face when I'm when I'm just giving you the the good morning taunt, bro. Somebody had a bad evening. All right, I'm gonna give you. The Bamboo Staff. Alright, let's try the Gauntlet. I just want to hit him with one of these six, you know what I mean? Preferably... Before I die. No, I want to hit the six. There's one. Oh, yeah. First KO with Poe. We had to six spam to get it, but we got it. I really want to hit the side six. Like with the uh, gauntlets. This guy might not make it too easy. Boom. Ooh, that down six. Boom. Looks so cool. Ooh, he timed it right that time. All right, let's get the gauntlet. Oh, man. This is looking like a three stock, but that's okay. We'll just switch up the characters next time. Boom! There's the side sig hit. Let's go. My goal is to hit with every single sig. Oh, I almost got that. All I need is the down sig with gauntlets. And I don't know if I'm gonna get that hit. Nope. He died too fast. Oh well, GG do GG. First game with Poe is a win. And it's a three stock. GG do GG. Ooh, wait, new weekly challenges? Also guys, there was a big balance patch that was released with this uh, Kung Fu Panda patch. And a lot of the legends that were like kind of bad got buffed, so it's pretty cool. Even Artemis got buffed, and I didn't think Artemis was that bad. I'm um, just looking at the new weekly missions real quick, so all right, cool, 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 cool. I'm not working on any of those right now, obviously. This is way too exciting. I'm only focusing on Kung Fu Panda right now. So let's do uh, Tigris to start it out, then Tai Lung, just in case we don't get a three stock with Tigris. We'll finish out with Poe. This time, let's do something different. How about Gala colors? We went black last time. We're going very much white this time. Oh man, Tigris looks so cool with the Gala colors and I know Tai Lung does as well. We'll see if I even get to use Tai Lung. All right, here we go. First game with Tigris, let's go. Technically, first game with uh, Tai Lung as well, if we get to use him. All right, let's try to get every single signature to hit at least once. We're gonna let her get a get a weapon. All right. All 
Oh man, I love those six. They are so cool. All right, hit with the down sig. She jumps uh, around a lot, which is gonna make it a little bit hard to hit hit that neutral. But but I just love the down sig. No, no, let me hit you with the sig. All right, she, she's gonna kill us. I gotta actually just try to win here. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> There's the guitar dunk. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit her with the, with the side sig. Oh, maybe not. Oh, he's Tai Lung. It's Tai Lung versus Tigress, you guys. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty much how it went in the movie as well. <laughs> All right, Tai Lung versus Tai Lung. Man, Tai Lung versus Tai Lung. Oh, get out of here, boy. You in a rush to get back on that stage? Look at these six. Boom! Let's go, Wushong! You don't want any of Tai Lung. Oops, oops, oops. I gotta be careful. Man, these cigs look so cool, though. He's got to stop down airing right away. Anyways, GG do GG. That was fun. We got to play both Tigris and Tai Lung. Perform true combos? Okay, didn't even know I was doing that. <laughs> I just kind of hit buttons and stuff happens. <laughs> oh, man. All right, this time we're actually going to start it out with Tai Lung. But this time we're going to upgrade his weapons. We're going to go full crazy. This is gonna be the last match, so we're gonna go all out. Let's give him some animated gauntlets as well. And then we're gonna to go to Poe, and this time we're gonna give him some better gauntlets as well. I just realized two of these crossovers are gauntlet legends. Uh, let's give him the other animated gauntlets, and for the spear, let's give him, oh, this is a perfect spear for Poe, the pillar of the heavens. And then for uh, Tigris, Let's go ahead and do Synthwave Colors. Let's give Tigress some better looking Katars. Some more fearsome looking Katars. How about the Pillage and Plunder? And then for the sword, we're gonna give Tigress another legendary weapon. I can think of a couple here. Let's go, ooh, there we go. Eternal Flame! Now that is a weapon worthy of Tigress. All right guys, fully maximum Kung Fu Panda Brahala. Oh man, going against the diamond too. This guy's really good. He's picked real three really good legends too. So we're probably gonna get bopped here, but that's okay. We'll still have fun doing it. Let's go. I'm gonna try to win though. I'm gonna try. Oh, look at Tai Lug with this scythe. Actually, we're doing all right. That, that was not so good on my neutral sig there. Oh, what a down sig! 
Tai Lung! Oh my gosh, that might be death. Nope. With that weapon throw, he wanted to go there, but he could not. Oh man, he got me. This is scary, man. This is so scary. I'm like going against a pro. Alright. Po. Po. Po's not going to lose. Getting a little nervous. Mantis OP, let's go. You hear that little sound of the mantis and it's just the sound of your death. Yo, this is so intense. He is a beast with the axe. I could tell. Boom! Oh, I thought he would get a little bit closer to the edge there so I could hit him with that neutral sig, but it's okay. We got Tigris! Oh my goodness, Bolts, put down the axe! Let's go! We got the win! Oh my gosh! GG dude, GG! Kung Fu Team OP and undefeated! Baby, that's how we do it. That's how we end the video, and we also completed the daily mission, alright. <laughs> oh man. Let me know what you guys think of the Kung Fu Panda stuff. Oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? I didn't even equip the KO effect, are you kidding me? This whole time I wasn't even using the Master Shifu. Oh my gosh. Alright, you know what, I'm gonna play one more game just so we can see the Master Shifu uh, KO effect. This time I'm going to start it out with Tai Lung. And then we'll finish it out with Poe. And this time I'm gonna use Soul Fire. <laughs> we'll make we'll make him look green. Oh rematch! Alright, this time I got the KO effect equipped, so even better. <laughs> Three, two, one, brawl. Rematch, let's go. Oh my goodness! GG dude, GG!
right, wow, that was, this is a pretty long video for me, but we didn't even cover all of the Kung Fu Panda stuff. We didn't even do the new game mode. Um, but we will do that next video. If you want to see the new game mode and if you would like to see actual like full matches with me using the new KO effect and stuff, just come back tomorrow. I'll be making a, another video for Kung Fu Panda tomorrow as well. And uh, can't wait to try out the new game mode. Again, sorry I didn't equip the KO effect from the beginning. I was just too excited <laughs> to play the Legends. Oh man. GG's to everyone I fought. And as always guys, I hope to see you in the next video. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.